Mount Elbrus, the towering masterpiece in the heart of the Caucasus mountain. Rising to a staggering 5,642 meters, it proudly claims the title of Europe's highest mountain. A straight old volcano with its two majestic summits is a sight to behold. Its snow-capped peaks and glaciers paint a picture of serene beauty. For adventurers and mountaineers, Mount Elbrus offers an ultimate test of strength, skill, and endurance. It beacons them to conquer its icy slopes, to face its unpredictable weather, and to push the limits of their own capabilities. As we ascend, we must overcome treacherous glaciers, navigate steep slopes, and battle the effects of high altitude. Each step brings us closer to the summit, but demands resilience and determination. It's not just about the physical journey. At the top of Mount Elbrus, a world of unparalleled beauty unfolds before our eyes. The vast Caucasus mountains stretch out in all directions, a testament to nature's grandeur and the reward for our tireless effort. My name is Mohamed Gouzouba. Join me on this amazing journey that challenges, captivates, and inspires. It's a reminder of the indomitable spirit that drives us to keep conquering what we thought was impossible. The adventure starts here on my Emirates flight, taking me from Dubai to Russia. Make a first stop in Moscow, where I buy my load of biscuits, chocolates, and all sorts of quick calories bites I will definitely need during my journey. From Moscow, I take a local flight to Minerani Vodi, where my guide is waiting for me outside the airport. We embark in a small Lada to reach Terskol village. During this enjoyable four-hour trip, we get to know each other while listening to Russian rock and finding our way through local cows. I feel very excited coming back to Elbrus after my first attempt two years ago. It was a great adventure, but we were stopped by a thunderstorm at 300 meters from the summit. Weather was just too bad to enable anyone to make it to the top during that week. The first scene of our Elbrus journey starts in Terskol village, located at the foot of the impressive Caucasus mountains. Here a sense of tranquility and anticipation fills the air as we prepare to embark on our ascent to Terskol peak. de 10-15 minutes. Allez, c'est super beau. Voilà. Voilà. Petite pause. After a couple of hours, we found a very nice forest cafeteria where we had a super relaxing break. It was definitely not the time to care about our diet. Just enjoyed an amazing organic berry tea 
as we were through most of the local caloric with very tasty delicacies we had on the menu. Today's trek is all about acclimatization before embarking onto mystical elbows. As we pave our way through rocky terrains and vibrant flora, we arrive to Devichi Kozi waterfall, captivating hidden gem in the middle of the Caucasus mountain. As the crystal clear water gracefully descends down the rocky cliffs, it separates into multiple thin streams that intertwine and cascade side by side. I can only recommend spending some time here as you easily immerse your senses in the symphony of rushing water and the gentle whispers of the wind. Je suis le premier et je finalise ma montée. Voilà où je suis. Ça, c'est l'observatoire de fin. La première journée. Ça, c'est la montagne et la nature autour. Donc, on y est. En arrivant, je vais faire un petit break. On attendra les autres. Et puis, euh... puis voilà. Après, on va redescendre. On va aller se reposer avant d'aller... Avant d'aller à Elbrus demain. Non, oui. En live depuis le sommet de Terskol. Donc voilà. And as it's usually the case, after the physical challenge comes the sweeping vistas from the pinnacle. Climbing Mount Elbrus is a high altitude expedition. Therefore, it involves walking and gradually acclimatizing your body to higher altitude. There are basically two ways of acclimatizing well. The first one, is ascending slowly from one camp to a higher camp, and this is basically how you climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Climbing Elbrus is different. The strategy here is called climb high, sleep low. It involves climbing to higher elevations during the day and then descending to lower elevations to sleep. By exposing your body to higher altitudes and reduced oxygen levels during the day and providing a lower altitude sleeping environment at night, this method helps stimulate physiological adaptations to altitude. Today is our first day in Elbrus. We first make the official registration for the climb, then we move to Azao Cable Station, which is located at the base of Mount Elbrus. We'll use the cable to go from 2,300 meters to 2,900 meters. Salut les amis, donc là, deuxième jour, on est sur la montagne. Today is our second acclimatization climb. The objective is to reach 3,800 meters. As we ascend higher, the air gets thinner. We definitely feel the cold during this first Elbrus climb. But it's very agreeable as we go through glaciers and great views. You can also see a few wild goats on the way up. Oui, la baie, là, c'est très bon. Donc demain, jour numéro 3, euh, on a 5 jours devant nous, et jour numéro 3, donc euh, euh, voilà, c'est le jour le plus dur. 
Euh, et on a un climb, on fait à peu près, on va monter jusqu'à 3800 mètres en câble téléphérique, comme celui-là. Et puis après, on va, on va aller jusqu'à 4700 mètres. Okay. Et c'est des glaciers, c'est un peu difficile à euh, commenter. Euh, ça va nous prendre à peu près 5 heures pour monter, une heure pour appuyer. Voilà, donc euh, on est là, on est euh, toujours en forme. Et on est en train de se relaxer avant de, de manger. Euh... Through the climb, we came back to our new hotel for the day. Keeper Azao, located at 3000 meters above sea level. As we ascended early, I had plenty of time to relax. Weather has been fantastic so far. So we've been pretty much spending the day enjoying the outdoor. <laughs> Here we meet our new friend, Little Foxy, who was more interested in food than willing to play. <laughs> Today is the most challenging day so far. We first take a snow cat to take our gearing to our new refuge, Leaper's Hut, located at around 3,800 meters. Remember, we ascended to that level the day before. Now we're going to climb higher, but starting from that altitude. As we approach our base camp, we find ourselves surrounded by stunning alpine scenery with majestic peaks, snow fields, and obviously, Mount Elbrus, our target, right in front of us. It's some kind of mountain hotel 2.0. It emphasizes sustainable practices and responsible tourism. The resource strives to minimize its ecological footprint and protect the environment. We sleep and live in a super comfortable place. And yes, there is heat here as well. In my best dreams, I would have never imagined a more luxurious stay during a summit climb expedition. Some rest. It's time to attack the ascent of Pastukov Rocks, located at 4,800 meters. This stage constitutes a true milestone during the Elbrus campaign, as it's a very challenging climb physically and mentally. The trail gradually gains elevation and we start to feel the effects of the thin air as we ascend. It's crucial to pace ourselves and take frequent breaks to acclimatize and prevent altitude sickness. At this point, it's all about acclimatization and avoiding getting caught into altitude sickness effects like headaches and nausea.
a monté pas mal de trucs déjà. Petit break ici. Et là, on va monter euh, encore jusqu'à 4700-4800 mètres. Donc c'est steep, c'est encore loin. Mais on est là. Au courage, on va le faire. The last break of the day is almost over. We refilled in terms of calories, water and electrolytes. Now it's time for the last push of the day. As we progress higher, the trail becomes steeper and we have to face the challenges of firmer snow coupled with frozen winds. Icy snow provides less traction and this lack of grip makes it more challenging to maintain stability and secure footing while ascending. The use of appropriate equipment such as crampons is essential here to improve traction and prevent slips or falls. Ah, salut les amis. Ah, voilà les brousses. Donc, euh, il apparaissait proche. On est à peu près à 4500 mètres là. Il est là. T'es très loin. Voilà mon groupe, il est tout en train de monter. Donc, euh, ça va en bonne forme. We started the climb a bit late, so I had to level up my game and go a bit faster to reach the rocks on time before sunset. In the mountains, you still have to think about coming down to your camp. It's very important to time your ascent, as the temperatures can go down very fast by the end of day, and you certainly don't want to be caught in such a weather. My two colleagues couldn't make it on time to the top of the rocks that day, but nevertheless, we all performed a great effort and we definitely felt a great pride and joy achieving what we achieved. We start day number four with a nice breakfast in our kitchen 2.0, where the view on the Caucasus mountain chain is just unbelievable. No climb today, just relaxing and preparing mentally for the summit tonight. The weather has been fantastic so far, very lucky, as Elbrus is very capricious and the weather changes very fast from very beautiful to very ugly. But as of now, we have a great view on Mount Elbrus, as they say, Seeing is believing. The first camp offers stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountain ranges, the sights of snow capped peaks, vast valleys, and pristine landscapes is all inspiring. We're just having an unforgettable visual experience here.
Oui, bah écoutez, ça c'est le jour numéro 4, donc c'est une journée de euh, repos. On s'est un petit peu entraîné euh, avec, le, avec le ice axe, les trucs de survie. Euh, mais sinon, c'est repos, c'est très calme. Euh, la montagne est vide. Donc demain, voilà l'île Bruce, il est devant nous, on le voit, le sommet. La montagne est très vide, très calme, on voit des gens qui descendent. Donc demain on bouge à, on se réveille à 3, je crois qu'on commence à 3 heures et euh, expected time euh, pour le sommet durant 8 heures. Today is all about peaceful and serene environment, clean mountain air, absence of urban noise, serenity, relaxation and meditation. Plus, there is a cozy sauna in our hut. So we decided to also cleanse our body in addition to our spirit cleansing experience. Here, we're collecting the ice outside to melt it as we're preparing a warm bath before the big challenge tonight. People usually say, no pain, no gain. Here, we're clearly collecting the gain way before the pain. <laughs> Salut tout le monde, bon ben voilà on y est, il fait nuit, euh, il est bientôt 2h du mat, donc euh, voilà, il fait nuit partout, on voit déjà des petites lumières en haut, euh, euh, qui bougent, c'est à dire qu'il y a déjà des gens qui font la montée, là on va aller prendre un petit déjeuner, euh, petit passage, petit toilet break, et puis après euh, je finis l'équipement, je finis de m'équiper, on y va. Donc, euh, allez, let's finish it. From Pastuk of Rocks, the climb to the summit of Mount Elwood involves ascending steep snow slopes. Slope angles vary, and we get to encounter dangerous sections with firmer snow and icy patches. It's always a massive challenge to face the cold and the dark during the beginnings of summit ascent. But we usually get a massive emotional and warming reward once the sun starts to rise. The first part of our summit attempt ends once we reach a slightly flatter section known as the Sadden. There, we'll take a well-deserved break to energize before attacking the final push. Salut les amis! Donc euh, voilà, on est, euh, il reste 30% pour arriver au sommet. On fait un petit break. Le voilà le sommet. Les gens continuent par là. Donc on est bon. Voilà la vue de là où on est. Ça va, je tiens le coup. Staying strong. This is the exact place where two years ago we've been stopped by a massive thunderstorm. So a big part of the summit success depends on the weather. Either the mountain lets you go to its top or it doesn't. You don't get to decide here. Just do your best and abide by the laws of nature. <laughs> This is Andre, 89th time today. We are incredible. Look at the view, it's amazing. We suffered a lot during two hours and a half, but we are here, strong, powerful, ready to do the difficult part. So let's make it, guys. Woohoo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> After the break comes the time to face the ridge. 
which is the final stretch before reaching the true summit of Mount Elbrus. As we navigate through the ropes, balance and focus becomes crucial. The narrowness of the ridge requires careful foot placement and the heightened sense of body awareness. Push is the real challenge. You're already exhausted and that's exactly where you face the steepest and most dangerous slopes. My two friends had to give up due to extreme fatigue, but I kept going and here I am paving my way to the roof of Europe. That day, I pushed my limits further and as we managed to arrive first to the summit, we had the luxury to take some nice photos before the rest of climbers joined us. And since we were in Caucasus, and since I'm a big fan of Habib, the MMA champion, I had to pose with the traditional local hat.